Hello everyone. Now before we begin, if I can ask you to subscribe to United24 on YouTube, I would appreciate it a lot. They put out great content and are worth following. Now onto the video. So I have a pair of videos here, alternate shots of the same incident. This is, unfortunately, the downing of a Ukrainian Mi-8 helicopter near a town called Pervomyska. The Mi-8 is filmed already damaged, gliding down before coming down quite hard in the field. Hopefully the crew made it out relatively unscathed. You can see the other helicopter circling the wreckage. So it did come down in a safe area, a Ukrainian held area, otherwise the other helicopter would have likely gotten out of there, gotten away from danger. So it came down in Ukrainian controlled territory and also more than likely out of the range of man pads and other threats. The second video shows the same event but from a further distance, but it has the bonus of not having an annoying watermark blocking half the image. Although not as clear, I always think it worthwhile having two viewpoints of the same incident. Now I don't think this was recent, but the video is newly released. The conditions seem more like autumn than winter. So it's an old incident but new footage. Now I don't have an exact location other than vaguely around Pervomyska in Donetsk, which is shown here. So it's a town close to the front lines. The Mi-8 is often used by Ukraine in a ground support role, using rockets. So I expect that is what was happening here when it was hit. This is on the eastern front. Ukraine has lost quite a few Mi-8 so far. 20 are listed on Oryx, including this one, which has already been put on. Ukraine operated 15 in the transport role with its air force and 48 in the mix role with the army. But they still have lost a significant number, so hopefully more Mi-8s can be sourced from somewhere. So that's it for this video. I thought it worth taking a look at. If you found it interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.